what's up guys welcome to my channel my name is casey and you're here because you saw this beautiful bob in the thumbnail well if you're interested to see how i styled this effortless bob just keep on watching hey guys so today's video is actually sponsored by yes girl wigs yes girl and they sent me over this package and i love the packaging so in the package you got this satin bag that has the wig in it and i'll show you guys the wig in a second and it also comes with this um, melt band so this goes over your head comes with an edge brush it comes with a wig cap as well and it comes with this little zipper zip bag that i guess you can keep all the products in it also has their manual for wig care and how to care the wig and how to install it things like that which i found was really cool so this is the unit this is a 10 inch kinky straight unit and i'm loving it because it basically looks like your natural hair it also has a 4c hairline as well and this is a c part unit so it only has that parting space where the where the part is right there and that's the only part that has the lace on it the lace is hd lace so it's nice and thin and it should blend seamlessly into my skin. The unit also has an adjustable band built inside of it. So basically you can wear this wig with no glue at all. And that's what I plan to do today. So that's perfect. So this actually fits perfectly snug on my head and which I love. Like as soon as I tried it on, I'm like, oh yeah. And you can also just wear the unit like this, like in your natural texture if you'd like, but <laughs> that is not how I wear my wigs, baby. But I was totally feeling it. It was really cute. And I'm like, oh, this length is perfect for the summer. And so I went in with this cream foundation by Ruby Kisses. I believe it's in RD16. I will link the color um, that I use in the description as well. And I put some of that makeup also on my wig cap. I only have four big ass braids under this wig because I just didn't have time to make them any smaller. But if you want like, you know, more braids for like maybe a flatter install, then you can do more braids. But for me, oh, I'm gonna turn up. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm just the four braids work for me. It's usually always works for me. Sometimes I even do two. So any case, I'm going in with my wax stick from my line. It's Leger Luxe Melt line. And I'm just just molding down the the top of the hair. Just I just want it to lay as flat as possible. So I am going in with the hot comb to make sure that it's all flat and all the flyaways are down and just just to get a nice neat base. And if you haven't already purchased a hot comb, please purchase a hot comb if you plan to wear wigs this summer. We don't want your wigs to be looking like teepees. You want them to be laid flat because you want the most natural results, right? And so just if you haven't purchased one, I'll link one in the description so that you guys can buy a hot comb because it is so necessary when styling a unit. Even if the unit comes fully customized like this one did, it's, it's coming from a package, right? So you still need to do a little fine tuning just to make sure it's all neat. I forgot to mention that this unit actually came bleached. The knots were bleached. I did not have to bleach these knots at all. And I was super impressed with that because it is like 12 a.m. And I did not have time to bleach no knots. OK, so if you're not if you don't know how to bleach knots and anything or anything like that, you don't have to worry about it when you buy this unit because the knots come bleached for you. Literally, all you have to do is cut the lace off and wear it if you'd like to. I'm using a razor to cut the lace off because the razor is has the serrated edges and it's going to make sure that the lace is cut off in a rigid motion so that it blends perfectly into my skin. Because if you use scissors and just you can use scissors too, but if you cut straight across, it's going to leave a line of demarcation and you're going to be able to see the lace. So I cut it off in a rigid motion and look, the lace just literally disappears. I am so impressed with it because like it's not there. <laughs> So I just wanted to you guys to see an up close and personal that the lace is literally melted right in my skin and there is literally no glue. Okay, okay, yes girl, come through. I am gonna run my flat iron through the unit because I want it to be a little bit more straight than it is now. 
Um, it doesn't have to be fully straight because it is a kinky, kinky texture. So I don't mind having the texture in it because it's a lot like my real hair, which I really like. And um, so I'm just running running through it. Literally, I might even miss some sections, but it really doesn't matter because some of the kinks look cute. So I'm just going to go with the flow. <laughs> When straightening a unit, always use a comb and run through with a flat iron with the comb simultaneously, okay? That's how you get the best results for straightening hair. I always get asked like how my units always come out so straight on my channel. So I just, I do have videos of showing you guys how to straighten hair and things like that on my channel. So check them out if you're interested. But always use a comb when you're straightening a, straightening a wig. It makes it so much better and, and straighter. Like you'll get the best results when you just take your time, part smaller sections, and go through it with a comb and the flat iron at the same time for this unit i'm usually i'm focused more on the front just to make sure the front looks as straight as possible i'm most more most often a perfect uh, perfectionist when it comes to my wigs i am a wig maker i am a hairstylist so that is something that i do take a lot of pride in but honestly it this wig didn't really need much of anything so i just left it on my head and straightened it typically when i style my units i style them on a mannequin head so that the back is completely just as neat as the front because that's just how i am but honestly for this wig because of the texture i thought you know what that's not even necessary i feel like even if some of it is still kinky that is perfectly fine with me because i think it gives a little bit of lip character to the unit <laughs> so i didn't mind it at all so i'm just lightly going through the back not too much i just want to make sure the front is the way i want it to look when i got to the side i did not realize that my flat iron plugged out i was so annoyed like really We're like why is it not straightening it's because it's not even on so i had to go and wait for it to get heated again before i even started um flat iron again so yeah so i'm just kind of going through this side as well straightening it that's all i'm doing straightening it oh yeah today's also my birthday guys i am old today <laughs> i would appreciate some love in the comments for my birthday that's all i want guys some love oh and don't forget to follow me and like this video as well <laughs> i also straightened out the 4c edges because um i don't don't know but i know where their edges like that <laughs> like curly i mean i appreciate the effort and things like that and it does it it being a little bit thicker does kind of make the unit look a little bit more natural but if we have thick edges like that we're gonna either lay some baby hairs or we're gonna straighten it to match the rest of our hair or brush it in with the rest of the hair we wouldn't just leave it there so yeah i appreciate the thought that the effort i do appreciate it a lot but no i don't wear it like that so i just took my um hot comb and straightened them out so now I'm just kind of bumping the side here to see how that looks. And I kind of liked it. It did look nice, but then I'm like, nah, I think I preferred it straight. So originally the idea was to wear it straight down like this and it kind of had a little thing where it covered my eye and I'm like, oh, this is cute. And then I decided to still swoop it and you'll see me do that in a second. And I'm just like, yes, this is how I'm going to wear it. It's going to be swooped. And I didn't put a pin or anything in it. I just kind of put it, push it behind my ear and use some holding spray to hold the top. But you can obviously pin it behind your ear and then put the hair in front of it so it hides the pins. If you'd like, and I know some people um, also just let the pins show because it's kind of cute sometimes. If you have like some gold pins, you can also just pin that whole side back. But I decided I'm just going to throw it behind my ear. It actually stayed there pretty well. And so I'm like, oh, this is cute. I don't know why I was spraying this spray so aggressively. And I'm pretty sure some got in my eye. I'm like, ciao. <laughs> but yeah you just need a little little bit it goes a long way um and you just kind of just to hold it in place so that the wind doesn't take it and then i went in with some concealer that is about a shade lighter than my complexion to put in my part because when you do part your hair 
your scalp in in the middle of your head is a little bit lighter than your actual skin tone so i just go in there to make it look a little bit more natural and yeah this is the final look guys this was very simple very very easy to put on like it really took very minimal effort and here is how the back turned out see it still has some texture in it, it it's cut very evenly and it's still very flowy and natural thank you so much yes girl wigs for sending me over this unit i really do love it how quick and easy it is to install and thank you all for tuning in and watching this video thank you so much if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a huge like subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and leave me a comment i love reading comments i always answer my comments i love communicating with you guys and i want to get to know my viewers some more so please don't forget to do that okay guys until next time bye